Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome to a travel video. So I have been letting y'all know quite a bit lately that mom and I are going on a big European adventure. We are actually cruising in the Carnival Pride for 21 days, which is slightly ridiculous, but we have been booking this trip for the last two years. And as you can see, we are not in Kansas anymore or Alabama. We are actually in Copenhagen. So I filmed quite a bit for y'all the first couple days. We are on day six of our trip right now, but I never filmed an intro to the series for day one. We flew from Alabama to Boston to London, spent a few days in London, and now we are on the Pride. So this entire trip is going to be 21 days on the boat. This is the boat right here. It's a pretty cool boat. Um, of course, mom's been on a lot of carnival ships. I haven't been on as many, but so far I really like it. It's not the biggest ship, but it's not the smallest. It's very ornate, which I appreciate. If I'm gonna be on a cruise, I wanna be fancy, y'all. So we are going Copenhagen today, Germany tomorrow. We're also heading Estonia. Good afternoon. This announcement is for Danny Cruz, William Salazar, Adrian Flores, Jeffrey Yale, to cast the contact guest services located on prominent decks of midship or without an exception, 7777. Thank you. We're getting ready to sail out of port, so I think they're trying to round up the last couple people, but going to Estonia, we are going to Sweden, Germany. Again, we'll end up back in London, and then we are taking the same trip, back-to-back -back cruises. Second one is going to reposition from London down to Rome, so we'll hit Paris, we'll hit a few other stops. Of course, I'll put the whole itinerary down below. Maybe I'll put it on the screen, but for now, we're going to go back in time to the first day when Mom and I were traveling to London we started, we literally left my aunt's house at 7.30 in the morning. We did not get to London until 7 a.m. the next day. So, enjoy. All right, y'all. So, we started our trip by flying up to Boston. This is the Boston International Terminal. And then we flew to London. It was a six-hour flight. So, we got in bright and early. Here we are, 7 in the morning. You can see London in the background. We actually booked a transfer from the airport but it fell through. So we called an Uber. They came right over and we just drove out to our hotel. It was about an hour's drive, maybe a little less, but we stayed at the Royal National Hotel, which was fairly inexpensive. It was very clean. It was a nice hotel. It was just hot, hot, hot. So instead of going to bed, we wanted to beat that jet lag. We decided to walk around. We stopped and got some fish and chips. And then we stopped right next to King's Cross Station right here where the Eurostar comes. We did take this Eurostar last time we were in London all the way under the channel to Paris, but it's just amazing, this little statue. And it is not a little statue. It is stories tall, but I walked all the way around the base and every last curved, carved detail is ridiculous. But this is part of the fun of Europe is you see literally history around every corner not always even, you know, in a big museum. It's just out there on the street. You can just walk up to it. There's a little cafe right beside this. So it was really amazing. I don't remember if the statue was there last time we were here, but I have to imagine it was. But the last time we were in this building was very early in the morning to catch a train. So probably wasn't as uh, interesting then. But this is right next to King's Cross Station, which was our overall destination. First of all, we were trying to go to the Pandora store and I will have a video about all the different Pandora shops we hit on our entire trip. So this was the first one. And then of course we wanted to go to the platform nine and three quarters shop and station and just Harry Potter y'all Harry Potter. So here's a little clip outside of King's Cross. And then I did, I did wait in the line to get my picture taken going to platform nine and three quarters. Then we went to bed. We were exhausted. So I will see y'all in tomorrow's video, which will be Stonehenge. Bye.